Another day, another story. Jobs and career in Biomeditech. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on exercise ideas for busy professionals at biotech and pharmaceutical companies. Good exercise between or after your hard work will improve work and life balance and productivity at work and home. I am a busy scientist in pharmaceutical company in San Francisco Bay Area. I spend three hours commuting every day. I feel I need more exercise. Recommend exercise ideas considering my limited time and busy work schedule. As a busy scientist with limited time, it can be challenging to fit exercise into your daily routine. Here are some ideas that may help. 1. Take the stairs. If your workplace has stairs, consider using them instead of the elevator. Climbing stairs is an excellent cardiovascular exercise that can help you burn calories and improve your fitness. 2. Walking or biking to work. If possible, try walking or biking to work. This is a great way to get some exercise and fresh air while also saving time and money on your commute. 3. Desk exercises. There are many exercises that you can do at your desk, such as leg raises, squats, and stretching. You can also invest in a standing desk or a stability ball to improve your posture and engage your core muscles. 4. High Intensity Interval Training, HIIT. Heat is a great way to get an intense workout in a short amount of time. You can do a heat workout at home or at the gym using equipment like dumbbells, resistance bands, or a jump rope. 5. Yoga. Yoga is a great way to improve flexibility, strength, and balance. 5. You can do yoga at home using online videos or attend a class at a local studio. 6. Fitness apps. There are many fitness apps available that offer quick and effective workouts that you can do anywhere, such as the 7-minute workout app or the Nike Training Club app. Remember, even small amounts of exercise can have a significant impact on your health and well-being. Incorporating just 15 to 30 minutes of exercise into your daily routine can help you feel more energized and focused throughout the day. How much budget is required for these recommended exercises? The cost of incorporating exercise into your daily routine can vary depending on the type of exercise you choose and the equipment needed. Here is an estimate of the costs for the exercise ideas I recommended. 1. Taking the stairs. This exercise is free and requires no equipment. 2. Walking or biking to work. This exercise is also free, although you may need to invest in a bike and related gear if you choose to bike to work. 3. Desk exercises. These exercises are also free and require no equipment, although you may choose to invest in a standing desk or stability ball. 4. High Intensity Interval Training, HIIT. Heat can be done at home with no equipment, or you may choose to invest in dumbbells, resistance bands, or a jump rope. The cost for equipment can range from $20 100. 5. Yoga. You can do yoga at home for free using online videos, or attend a class at a local studio. The cost for a class can range from $10 20. 6. Fitness apps. Some fitness apps are free, while others require a subscription fee. The cost for a subscription can range from $5 $20 per month. Overall, incorporating exercise into your daily routine does not have to be expensive. There are many low-cost or free options available that can help you achieve your fitness goals. Do you recommend certain types of shoes and clothing for these recommended exercises? Yes, having the right shoes and clothing can make a big difference in your comfort and performance during exercise. Here are some general recommendations for shoes and clothing for the exercise ideas I recommended. 1. Taking the stairs. You can wear any comfortable, supportive shoes for climbing stairs, such as athletic shoes or hiking boots. 2. Walking or biking to work. If you choose to walk or bike to work, you may want to invest in a good pair of walking or running shoes, depending on the distance and intensity of your commute. For biking, you'll also need a helmet and comfortable, moisture-wicking clothing. 3. Desk exercises. You can wear any comfortable clothing for desk exercises, although it's important to wear supportive shoes to avoid injury. 4. High Intensity Interval Training, HIIT. For heat workouts, you'll need supportive athletic shoes with good traction and stability. You may also want to wear moisture-wicking clothing to stay comfortable and dry during intense workouts. 5. Yoga. For yoga, you'll want to wear comfortable, breathable clothing that allows for a full range of motion. You may also want to invest in a good yoga mat for added comfort and support. 6. Fitness apps. For workouts done at home, you can wear any comfortable clothing and supportive shoes. Overall, it's important to choose shoes and clothing that are comfortable, supportive, and appropriate for the type of exercise you are doing. Investing in good quality shoes and clothing can help you stay motivated and comfortable during your workouts. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Jobs and career in Biomeditech.